Ambrose, it's uh, almost six. Actually, it's past six, George. <laughs> Can I go? Yes, but remember, uh, tomorrow's my son's wedding, and I want, want you here. Um, you, you can go now. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, sir, we're, we're closed. Not yet. Look, it'll take two minutes. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Where is your erotica section? I, I don't have one. I know you don't. I'm at the bookstore. So did I. Look, let me make this easy. I'm, uh, I'm looking for ten tips to hot lovemaking. Uh, we, don't, we don't get a lot of call for that. Um, the people up here are already pretty good in the sack. Yeah, all right. But I'm looking for a very special gift. Can you recommend something else? Well, this uh, picture book of Martha's Vineyard is a very nice gift. All right, how much is this? That's uh, $80. I'll give you 50 <laughs> This isn't a flea market. The price, of, the price of the book is $80. All right, then I'll just browse around a while. And I don't mean fast browsing, either. Just good, careful, quality browsing. 65. Make it 60. Sold. <laughs> I'm assuming you'll, uh, you'll take an out-of-state check, drawn on a Las Vegas bank. Caesar's Palace branch? <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing? I'm, I'm calling CompuCheck for uh, uh, verification. Oh, interesting. First it's wear clothes, wear clothes. Now all of a sudden we have time to hassle the Jewish guy, huh? I, I resent that. I'm, I am not a bigot. But the bank told us we have to verify every check. They, they had a, a seminar at the Sheraton and everything. I mean, I, see, I take the numbers off yeah, your yeah, check yeah. and I, I call them in. Oh, come on, then... come on, come on. This has nothing to do with Sheratons or seminars, and you know it. This is about 2,000 years of hate and oppression. <laughs> Then they give me a number, and I put it. I put it on your check, and uh, that, see, I have this little, that little stampy thing. Yeah, listen, listen. Who in your childhood caused you to be so hurt that you have to hurt others? Check's fine. Thank you. And as my people say, shalom. And as my people say, we're closed. <laughs> Hi, George. Hi. Hi, Casey. Hey, Dad, I'll be with you in one sec. What's this? It's um, a little wedding present. I, I know it's a, it's a little, little early, but then... <laughs> a, a, lot, a lot of things are a little early. <laughs> I heard that. Thank you, George. You know, I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm really happy that, uh, you know, you're opening the restaurant and, and the, the baby and, you know, you're finally getting married. <laughs> you, you are still... Yes, yeah. George. <laughs> okay, now, before we sit down to dinner, I have a little surprise planned. Yeah. Casey? Tomorrow is our wedding. And I was thinking, what are weddings all about, really? Well, they're about family. And wouldn't it be incredibly great if the entire family were here, all of it. Now, it took a little bit of searching, but I want you to say hello to someone you haven't seen in a long, long time. I want you to go ahead and open up that door. Dad? Well, hello, princess. Hi, Dad. Hi, old friend. <laughs> Well, what's it been? Four or five years, huh? Ten. Well, who's counting? I was. Oh. But, uh, Ted, uh, why, why don't uh, you and I go go in the kitchen and uh, and uh, and what? And 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 be be in the kitchen. <laughs> well, uh, Ted seems nice. Yes. And uh, George is. A little chilly. 
Are, are you crazy? You 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 brought that man to the island? What's wrong with him? He, he was in my store today. He, he called me a Nazi. <laughs> he, he made me uh, violate the uh, compu check procedures. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. They're taking away my stampy thing. How could you do this? That man walked out on me and my mother practically 20 years ago, and now he shows up with some BS excuses and a pathetic picture book about Martha's Vineyard? See, I act actually, that's a, that's a premium gift. Excuse me, George. I think I need to talk to Ted alone. Hi. Hi. George, is it? Yes. Yeah, George, uh, George Studi. Hi, George Studi. I'm Leo Wagenman. George, I told my daughter that the uh, gift book cost $100. I assume you'll back me up on that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, what do you do, Leo? I'm a professional magician. Magician? Yes, George, magician. Someone who performs acts of mystery and illusion without the apparent use of gimmickry. No, I, I know what a magician is. It's just I didn't... Realize that my son was marrying into carnival people. Is that a shot at me, George? You know, because I can fire right back. Your son got my daughter pregnant out of wedlock. Now, what kind of a father are you? At least I was there when it happened. Well, you know, not, not, not there. Around. Well, not even George, around. You have a stuttering problem, don't you? I, I stammer. And it, it gets worse when I run into someone who's obnoxious. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. There I go again, screwing everything up, as usual. First I insult you, then I write you a bad check, then I upset my daughter. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what was that part just, just before the daughter? I have something I need hold, to tell hold, you. Hold it, Ted. Bad, uh, bad check? Please, George, it sounds important. What is it? Yeah, uh, Casey and I were just talking I mean, things why, why over. I mean, why did you even bother bargaining with me? Daddy, please. Why, why didn't you just write a check for $1,000? Dad, please, okay? He, he wrote me a bad check. Um, Ted, what? What? I'm more layers. Yeah, uh, Casey is a little bit too upset to come out here right now, but uh, basically she feels it. Uh, maybe I, I shouldn't have uh, brought you here. And then maybe I'm some kind of a lunatic. And uh, maybe I don't know her very well, and maybe she doesn't know me at all, and maybe this, this whole uh, wedding thing is a big mistake. But I, 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 think, I think that I can talk her out of a lot of that um, if, if you just go. Go? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, she doesn't want you at her wedding. Oh, oh, I see. Wow. Tough, tough moment. <laughs> the uh, kind of moment you can best ponder on the eight o'clock ferry. <laughs> George, what did you do before you came here? I managed a mutual fund in, in Boston, and, and when my wife passed away, I, life got a little lonely, and uh, my son bought a restaurant here on the island, and I retired down here and <clears throat> opened up a bookstore. I just asked, what did you do before you got here? Not your shrink, George. <laughs> here we are at the ferry. G goodbye now. George, I'm feeling terribly sad. I, I feel the need to talk. 
You know, they, they don't monkey around on, on the ferry. I mean, they, they say 8 o'clock, bang, they, they mean 8 o'clock. George, I'm reaching out to you. Oh, look, some people are running. <laughs> George, please, please, don't put me on that ferry. I, I can't go back. Some stuff happened in Vegas. What, what, kind, what kind of stuff? George, when someone tells you some stuff happened in Vegas, you don't ask what kind of stuff. <laughs> Magician stuff? <laughs> All right, I might as well come clean, George. For a lot of years, I've been making my living at organized crime. You're, you're in the mafia? No, 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 I'm just a bag man. I pick up money from one place and drop it off in another, but I made a tiny error in judgment, and now there's a contract out on me. You're, you're just trying to impress me. <laughs> How is that impressive? They're going to kill me, George. These Vegas boys, they don't just kill you, you know. They torture you first. Like... Like how? I mean, they... They, they make you go to the Liberace Museum? <laughs> George, is that a joke? No. <laughs> it was. <laughs> George made a joke. <laughs> you know what that means? What? It means you're starting to like me. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, come on. You are. You like me. Come on, just say you like me, and I'll go. R really? Yeah, that's all I want. Le uh, Le Leo, I Leo, I like you. Oh, come on, say it like you mean it. There's a, uh, a pull-out couch in the den upstairs. Uh, there are four ferries tomorrow. Uh, eight... <laughs> 10, noon, and 4. And just to make this clear, I like you, I like you, I like you, I like you. Honey, I'm gonna ice a wedding cake now. Something I should still do? I'm not sure. Is there going to be any more surprises from my past? Did you manage to track down my first boyfriend? The one who wouldn't let up until well, I... Honey, of course not. Until you what? <laughs> oh, hey, how about my literature professor, huh? Is he gonna pop out of the cake and chase me around the room again with his pants down? Honey, of course not. I would never... Wow, there's a lot of things we haven't talked about. I didn't want to see him, Ted. He was a terrible father. He was never around. And I promised myself that when I was old enough, I would live my life and he could do whatever he wanted with his. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Casey. You gotta believe me. I never meant to hurt you. I just thought it'd be some sweet idea. That's all, I swear. Ted. Yeah. We're gonna have a baby. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Well, I think I do, but you'd better tell me. It means that you can't be the baby anymore. Everyone moves up one. I got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, we don't want to miss that ferry. Good morning. <laughs> who, uh, who, who are you and, and, and what are you doing in my house? I think you know the answer to that, Leo. Pardon me? You heard me, Leo. <laughs> there must be a mistake. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not Leo. Okay, we'll play it that way. You're not Leo, and I'm not a mob assassin. <laughs> uh, good. because I'm, I'm definitely not Leo. <laughs>
Okay, I hope we have time for some brunch. Hi, Leo. I'm, I'm not, I'm not Leo. He's, he's Leo. All right. If you don't tell me which one of you is Leo, I have to whack you both. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm Leo. See. I did it. I stole the money and I spent it all. You and me, we gotta take a little ride. Yeah, okay, okay. Listen, uh, can, just give me a minute. Go ahead. I, 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 I don't believe this. You, you were telling the truth. That's already been established, George. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've got a killer in my house. Try to focus, honey. Try to focus. <laughs> Upstairs in the guest room is my flight bag, and it is $25,000. $25,000. After I'm gone, I want you to give it to my daughter. Tell her that, um, tell her I know I've been a lousy father and uh, maybe this will make it up to her. Let's go, Leo. Yeah, right. I'll, uh, and tell, George, tell her that I loved her very much. Come on, Leo. Let's take a little walk on the beach, huh? Wait, 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 wait a minute. He's, he's got he's got the money. What? It's it's upstairs. He did he didn't spend it. George, I'm very annoyed with you. <laughs> the money's upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait here and uh, I'll get it. And don't you know don't 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 whack anyone while I'm gone. <laughs> so, nice jacket. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got it off Frankie the Bull. Oh, Frankie gave you his jacket. That's not what I said. Uh, here, here it is. It's all here? Yeah, 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 it's all here. All right, I'll take this back. But if I ever see you in Vegas again, Leo, I'll be wearing your jacket. <laughs> Uh, good, goodbye. <laughs> I'm very annoyed with you, George. You're annoyed at me. I, I saved I saved your life, you 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 smuck. <laughs> George, you're trying to call me a schmuck? You know what I meant. No, George, you're the smuck. <laughs> you ruined my grand gesture. You're what? Oh, you don't get it, do you? Look. I'm a louse, I'm a creep, I'm a rotten father. No, no, I, I get that. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Don't you see what happened? All of a sudden, I get a call from your son. Would I like to come to my daughter's wedding? Well, yeah, sure, I'd love to come, but I got nothing to give her. I'm just a two-bit Vegas bag man without a penny to his name. And $25,000 in my briefcase. So I thought that maybe if I gave her that, that uh, maybe now and then she'd think of me and... Maybe we a nice thought. Um, I, I mean, but you, you, you knew they were, they were going to kill you. No, they were going to kill me anyway. I wasn't a very good bag man. <laughs> I got lost a lot. <laughs> Vegas is a very confusing town. The streets are not laid out in a grid system. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, you know in a way, it's, it's very touching. Instead of trying to give your, your daughter money, why don't you just, just tell her the way you feel? Huh? No, no, I, I don't have the words. It's ironic, isn't it? Huh? It's very hard for us men to say I love you to the people we really, truly care about, but we can say it to every tramp and bar girl and one-night stand that comes through our beds. Right, George? <laughs> Brother, you said it. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Hi. Uh, uh, where's Where's Casey? What's he doing here? Look, I'll explain later. Where, where's Casey? She's across the street at the bookstore. Wait a second. Dad, it is not traditional to see the bride before the ceremony. There are a lot of things that are not traditional to do with the bride before the ceremony. <laughs> uh, Casey, we, uh... We, uh, we need to see you. Be right down. Listen, George, I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to go through with this. Uh, Le Leo, you'll be fine. Just, just remember what we talked about. 
What is he doing here? Um, Casey, your your father has has something he, he wants to say to you. Yeah. Look, uh, Casey, I, I I'm so so sorry. Sorry that I wasn't <laughs> that I wasn't there for you when you were growing up, and and I. I I regret. They lost time. I, I regret it like hell. And, and, and I'm so. I've always been very proud of you. And I always will be. And that's that's as as far as we got in the car. <laughs> oh, Casey, you make a beautiful bride. It was an honor to see you on your wedding day. I love you very much. Always have. Anyway, taking up enough of your time. Bye. Theo? You came all this way. Stay for the wedding. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> Thank you. Hug. Hmm? Hug. Oh. <laughs> it, it's almost time I'm going to head over to the restaurant. George, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I've got nowhere to go. I got nowhere to live. But you know something? It doesn't matter. Because I get to see my daughter get married. Would one of you grab my bouquet? Sure, honey. Where is it? Uh, small bedroom, top of the stairs. Where? Oh, this, uh, this used to be a house. And there's a, a small, uh, a bedroom we never use. Oh, dear God, no! <laughs> oh, George, this is nice! <laughs>